Cholesterol is not what the people or what physicians are telling you. 50% of all the hormones are made out of cholesterol. Testosterone, estrogen, cortisol. 100% of vitamin D is made out of cholesterol. 53% of your brain is cholesterol. 90, 80 to 90% of your bile is made out of cholesterol molecules. The body has two ways to make cholesterol. One is the statin, how they, they create reductase. That's how they affect it. So I want to tell people, as a physician, we started with cholesterol. It was the bad cholesterol was bad. Then when we reduced your cholesterol and we didn't see the changes we wanted to see, then we went to the L HDL. So if your HDL is low, it's bad for you. Then we didn't, we didn't get the results we wanted. Then we went to LDLs. Oh, the LDLs are the bad. For, if HDL is low, but LDL is low, you're okay. Well, we figured out that that was not true. Now, if you go to a physician that knows what they're doing, it's not even the cholesterol you need to worry about it. It's two molecules. It's called the ApoB protein and the little lipoprotein A. So remember, ApoB, big, large B, for bad, and little lipoprotein A, so bad, the word bad, okay? Now we're saying, oh, no, it wasn't cholesterol. It wasn't none of those. It was these two proteins, all right? And if you look at a cholesterol molecule, and I'm going to send you a slide so you can show it to the people. You look at chylomicrons. When you eat and you absorb these fats, they're called chylomicrons. That's what, go, that's what goes into your limbs. So look how, how God is, G-O-D, no M-D. God gave you a highway just for fats. So that tells you that you need to eat fats. I want to repeat what I'm going to say. There's a highway in your body just for fats. It's called limbs. All it carries is fat. You wipe yourself your immune system. Your immune system is dependent on fat. Yes, there's cholesterol in there. There's a lot of fat in there because it's necessary to take those fat to where they're needed. Is cholesterol bad for you? Absolutely not. The longer living people on the world always have large amounts of cholesterol. So cholesterol is a money-making molecule. It's not a health-making molecule. Okay. We can give you a pill and we say, oh, you're fine. Cholesterol does, I mean, statins do not re decrease any of the heart attacks or anything like that. The new ones, the PCK9s, they reactivate or make the activation of platelets more abundant. So be aware of that. So if you have a high cholesterol, the question is, why do I have high cholesterol? Is it because I don't have, making enough testosterone? Is it because I don't have enough vitamin D? Is it because my body is affected my Digestive system is affected. My body is making cholesterol because I need to make something with it. Now, I want you to listen to this. Your body makes 80% of all the cholesterol in your blood. But if I start feeding eggs, by the way, when I competed, when I was competing on powerlifting, I would have 12 eggs in the morning, 12 eggs at lunch, and 12 eggs in the afternoon, right? Disgusting. Because I know. <laughs> but I wanted to keep my weight. You know, I couldn't eat junk, so I had to eat that. My cholesterol, eating... What is it? 12, 12, 36 eggs a day. By the way, I have to do life insurance. I don't want my butt, I don't want to be poked at all, but I have to have life insurance. My cholesterol was 176 eating 36 eggs a day. So that tells you my body didn't want to make cholesterol because I was giving them cholesterol. So if you want to lower your cholesterol, eat fat. If you will not make cholesterol, and then you start using that cholesterol to what you need. Yeah, I, th 